the group, the magi of love. Greetings from home, dear ones. I am the keeper of time. I am thrilled to join you this day in your grand experiment on planet Earth. The work that you are doing is absolutely magical, but there are larger aspects happening that we'd like to tell you more about. Remember the pendulum that we've been talking about since the year 2000? The reality is that humanity swings back and forth until it finds a neutral space where it can work together. Although we're reaching an opportunity, it is not definite because it's all really up to you. You are the conscious creators that create this world in front of you. The magic of love. You hold the magic of love deep within you. Take a breath, everyone. Smile and feel your vagus nerve lighting up, sending out this beautiful vibration into the world around you. This helps you create your reality, as so many things are taking place now. We've shared with you many of the cosmic events that are happening behind the scenes. We've talked about the portals opening, the timeline cross, and several of the stargates starting to open. All of these things taking place have been focused on the planet herself. Earth is stressed and trying to reset her energies for the path forward. Well, dear ones, the reality is that so are you. Yes, much of what you're dealing with at this moment is resetting that energy in an entirely different way. So take a breath and let us join you here. Expect a miracle and we will help you create it. The moment that you bring it into reality, you set it into motion. Yes, that is magical indeed. I am the keeper of time and I am here because it is time to change direction. In the United States recently, you have seen some changes in your political structures. Oh, the game of politics that you are playing. When we talk about a new direction, we're not talking about politics at all. Politics is mostly built on division. Vote for us, not those bad guys. Well, that's not going to work much longer. The reality is that all of planet Earth is heading into a very negative direction with the division. But you can turn it around very easily. Individually, as well as a collectively, you can shift the energy of planet Earth by recreating your own story. Create something magical that you can bring forward. It is beautiful beyond your understanding, and here you are working with it right now. Today is a critical juncture for many reasons. The white bison has been born. A short while ago, you had an indication of what was to come. The white bison was born, which according to Native Americans, signals change ahead. Yosemite National Park in the United States holds that white bison, which is a very sacred symbol for all of you. It is a hopeful and beautiful sign and you'll see much of that taking place. You're being bombarded with beautiful energy from the sun. We've spoken about this over many years, actually. The sun is helping. We've told you about how the sun erupts and sends out these amazing magnetic waves, creating the most beautiful sights. The aurora borealis now appears in places where you've never seen it before, but it is much more than just a visual effect. This magnetism is actually the magnetism of the heart. And when you have a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection, as you call it, it spews this beautiful energy out into the universe. Then it hits planet Earth anywhere from 72 hours to a few days later. Recently, there was the largest solar flare of this solar cycle, which you have labeled as an X-Class 14, and there are more to come. But we have a slightly different perspective about this than most of your astrophysicists who study it. We tell you, dear ones, the neutrinos have brought a magnetic wave onto the planet. The heart is magnetic. If you consider that your brain is electrical and your heart is magnetic, it can open your heart. And that is truly magical, for you have actually created this yourself. Many beings here right now have been working with you to create this opportunity. And they have also been working with the planet to focus this energy for her to heal and reset to her own signature vibration. Now here you are at this fulcrum. As the keeper explained about the pendulum, it's moving back and forth wildly right at this moment, but you're starting to see changes. Look for unity, for that is the only way for you to move to this next level. Otherwise, you will move in the same very negative direction that you have been already. Can you see peace or even unconditional love blanketing planet Earth? Well, we tell you that it is entirely possible at this very moment because of you. Open your heart and allow that beautiful energy the sun is giving you to come in. 
you've seen some recent changes in the politics of planet Earth, particularly in the United States, and they have changed as a result of these waves coming in. So that's part of what's taking place, but it's only a small part because you have much more that you can create. You are creating a reality which will support you in so many beautiful ways. Take a breath, dear ones. Anchor this light deeply into your spirit. Yes, that's why you are here and we honor every moment of your existence for just that reason. Everything travels through time in waves. You live in the illusion of time. As the keeper of time, it's why I am here this very day. You're starting to understand that time is actually an illusion. Everything on your side of the veil has to do with time. You perceive it as past, present, or future in a linear time frame, and yet only one of those exists. The now is the only one that is real. The future is but a dream, and the past, of course, is just a memory. Although you may think that the past is absolutely certain and never alters, it actually changes all the time. You rewrite history every moment of every day, which has to do with your collective story. And now the story has an opportunity to change from one of division to one of unity. And that's what we ask you to look for in every decision you make. What unity can come from this? Who can you love? That is the ultimate objective. As you now have this beautiful energy in front of you at this very moment, you are magicians of the game board. Yes, you are more magical than you understand. And that's why we have started calling you the Magi of Love. And by the way, even your James Webb Space Telescope has decided the time is an illusion. We find that fascinating as your natural sciences and metaphysics are starting to come together. There is truth in all of it now. Because of the illusion of time, everything on your side of the veil must travel in waves through a medium. It's very simple. The words you hear travel through the air. They are vibrations put into the air through vocal cords, then through electronics into a microphone and speakers. The medium of love is people. Air is the medium of the sound that you are hearing, and light is the medium of the sights that you see. And now, of course, the most important part. What is the medium of love? You are, dear ones, the magi of love, creating magic in every moment. How does love travel? There's only one place it can travel, dear ones. The medium of love is people. How many people can you love, and how much can you love unconditionally? Of course, you also have your conditional love. The reality is that even your marriage vows are a statement of conditional love. The larger aspect of love is always unconditional, for there is never division in that energy. So, when you take this process and work through it in a different way, you'll start to see the magic that is held deeply within you. Yes, you are the magic of love. Send that vibrational wave out into the universe through other people. Does it mean you must love everyone completely and unconditionally? Of course not, dear ones. Because you are human, you're going to have judgments and preferences. Although some consider it good, while others may think of it as bad, your extrasensory perceptions are taking you forward in evolution toward your next level of existence. This is right in front of you now, and we can't wait to see what takes place. But it's very interesting. Some of the friendliest people in the world are in Las Vegas, and there's a reason for that. It's because of that magic and the expression of hope. It is the expression of creating your own reality and creating miracles. Essentially, it is the people who do it. So we will challenge every single person now. Many times before we have given this same challenge to the late masters. When you make eye contact with someone, even if you only have a brief moment or a few words, can you lift them up? Can you smile and help them to ignite their own vagus nerve, radiating that energy of unconditional love out into the planet? Can you touch them in such a way that they're a little brighter than before? That is our challenge to you, dear ones. You are the Magi of love. You have come to this planet specifically for this reason, and the timing is perfect for your work to evolve to the next level. You are magicians far beyond your understanding, which is why we call you the Magi, and love is your medium. The framework or substrate in which that love must travel is people. It's the only way. When you look at a person, you may have a judgment about them. Perhaps it's the way they wear their hair, the clothes they are wearing, how they're walking or acting, or even the sound of their voice. Well,
Go ahead and have your judgment, but also find a way to love them, even just for a moment. Then you will have touched them with your light. Quite simply, touch them with your light and then continue your journey forward, and that will change the world very quickly. Remember, your space has been reserved for you to be here at this magical time. Love is here now. Love is coming in from the sun in this magnetic form. It's traveling at 186,000 miles per second, 300,000 kilometers per second, seven times around the planet in one second. How much love can you leave in your trail of light behind you? How many hearts can you touch, even for just a moment? Yes, that is unity. You don't even know which side of a political argument someone is on, but you could care less. Touch them with your heart and allow that unity. Understand that at home, you are all intricately connected, inseparable. It is only when you come to planet Earth and put on this bodysuit that you pretend to be separate. From this side of the veil, you are loved far beyond your understanding. Your work is directly ahead of you. Let us touch your heart for these few moments that we are with you so you can turn around and give it to someone else. It is our greatest of honor to greet you in this way. Treat each other with the greatest respect as the Magi of love. Nurture one another and open those doors at every opportunity. Play well together in this new game. Well done, dear ones. I am the keeper of time, and I love you dearly.